Well, my dearest garden friends, it has been a while since we talked last. Uh, I know many of you ask about well, how do we deal with the emotional aspects of um, COVID time. And one of the things we talk about is planning a day before, what are you going to look forward to the next morning? And that plan and that expectation, that hope, if it's uh, grounded in the garden, it's going to be very delightful and extremely helpful. More and more we know that being in nature, it recharges the brain, according Dr. Ethan Cross that wrote the book, Chatter. I have been wanting to make a dish that includes some herbs, and I have here some herbs from the garden, and parsley and celery and beautiful red Swiss chard. Also, I needed potatoes and I'm out of potatoes. So I went in the garden and dug some potatoes. But what is very beautiful about these potatoes is the colors. You can notice the shiny, beautiful purple color of these potatoes. And of course, the eggs, which are different colors because of each one of the chickens, depending on its breed, has a different color egg. So I have kind of a brown and white and green. So, I have purchased some lamb liver um, because of its iron and want to make a dish and including all these herbs and the potatoes and eggs. I wish I could invite you over. We could share it together, but more so than anything else, it is my sort of Valentine's sending it to all of you to be taking care of yourself, uh, especially emotionally and spiritually with prayers and sharing with others. So. Uh, I hope every day is Valentine's Day. Every day is a day you can share love and care and concern with others and spend some time in nature. Growing things is really symbolic of the growth we experience within ourselves. Love you all. Bye-bye.